I might. Monday's right. Okay. Welcome to Comfort Avenue number two. Welcome to YouTube, Instagram, and beyond. So this is a practice check. In the right hands, if taught by the right martial artist, anything that you touch should become an extension of your skills. But your skills with a weapon should never be better than your skills without. And I know you're all looking and laughing and saying, but that's bullshit, James. Is it? Is it? Yeah, a weapon is an advantage. I understand that. But a weapon in an unskilled person's hands is deadlier to the person who's not skilled as it is to the person that is skilled. You guys get tired of seeing the same pass over and over again? Well, let me explain something to you. There are some things that you are going to master. See how I had to control that because I got too close to my lights? Just keeping on my pretty face. If you have no control and you have no discipline, lots of things can go wrong. If you have no control on some discipline, then you have the ability to recover. Now, as you see how I stopped there, here, that gives me the opportunity, if it works again, from here, to stick out and then come back. Now see how that didn't work, now it's stuck, now I have control over the gate. Learning how to control and stop your weapon is always a plus. Don't do this. Because that's what's going to happen. Now, keep it real. If I'm fighting like this and I'm bound, I have this chain. I can block with this chain. Now, let's say I don't have the chain wrapped around me. As a weapon, there's not a lot of blocking I'm going to be needing to do with this chain. At full range, from all the way back here, I can scorpion the shit out of it. At mid-range, I'm more effective at mid-range than long-range. Long-range gives you a chance to get my weapon from me quicker than mid-range, where I have this, which is short mid-range, versus this, which is completely short range, which allows me to whip. I'm not going to be needing to do too much blocking, but if you throw a punch and I block it, that strike. See, I got this all chained up. Now, if I'm here, I got a better chance of short strikes. Dip, boop. Yeah, so I'm gonna hurt you. Was out here, if I don't do this correctly, and it wraps around my opponent's wrist, like that was supposed to do. Now, in the movies, this would be cool as shit, because it would wrap around my opponent, and I could snatch him towards me. In real life, not so much. This thing's going to hit them solid, and that's going to happen. i to come right back. See that? You need to know how your weapons work before you can say that you are profound with it. That's going to hurt. I'll feel it tomorrow. So as you can see, it's a thing that anything you touch as a martial artist, you need to learn how to use it as a weapon. Also, 10,000 things can go wrong while you're learning before one thing goes right. Okay. So you see me drop these things before 
here on IG, you'll see me drop them again. The commas for tampas, I'm going to use these as tampas, but first I'm going to use them as what they actually are, commas. Commas have a means to an end for short strikes, block, strike, strike, which is basically a block and a gouge at the belly. If you block and you gouge at the belly, you can turn it up and come up through the belly. So your strikes are here and here, and you turn it up and you go there. That's why this form is used. So you can turn it this way, or you can turn it this way. Because you can thump them and then cut up. Or you can slice and then slice. Whichever one works easier for you. Block, slice, slice. Block, gut. Yeah, you'll figure it out once you get commas in your hands. So block, soup, soup. Block, soup, soup. All right? Now, real commas will fuck your shit up. Real commas you do not grab by the blades. Real commas are not tampas and they will cut your shit. Pure and simple. So, strike. Nine times out of ten, you block, you kick, and then you cut with the comma. You're probably going to kill someone. So you don't train with the real ones. You train with these wooden ones. So that no one gets hurt. Although these wooden ones are going to hurt like shit when you sting somebody, so you should probably train with proper equipment on so that you don't get fucked up. That includes headgear, mouthpiece, testicle guard, shin and knee guards, and elbow pads. Probably a good pair of gloves so you can have a grip. Now, if you're going to fight with commas in real life, I advise you to learn close range combat because these are close range weapons. So if you block and you strike, don't stop cutting. That's the only advice I can give you. Don't stop. When you block that shit and you start gouging down here, you're tearing all of this up, don't stop. So block, come up. You want to finish it. Block, go across the throat. You know, block, across the throat. These are short range weapons for a reason. When they use commas in martial arts, preferably ninjutsu or kung fu, you are going to be in close. It is easy to block and strike this way, or block and strike this way, then versus clum and foom foom. Now, some people are good enough to foom and get it around, but if the guy comes down and you're in the ax block and he's stronger, you're gonna have to move one of these commas. If you catch the blade this way, you pull your opponent this way, foom, there's a knee. Pull, there's a knee. Yeah. Pull, foom, there's an elbow. Pull, knee, elbow. You still got this sword locked in your blade. Now again, for movie purposes, that would be fucking awesome. In real life, you do this and you get their blade to the side, I'm gonna teach you a cheap shot. You pull them, jab the butt of your comma back into their gut. You're still locked in the blade. Boom, boom. That's your easiest move. And hopefully you won't cut your own face off with your sword that's sticking through your blade. But to be honest, the best way to do it is if you're going to fight, Block up, slice. Block up, slice. Now, if they have two swords, you have a problem. So, double block, double block. You're going to be doing a lot of damn blocking because they have swords, and swords have longer blades than commas. So, you have to be aware of that. And what you're not going to do in a fight is this. Not this part, not this part, but this part right there. Let me see if I can do it slow again. You're not going to do that with a comma. You are going to lose a hand, probably your life. So if you're going to fight, just keep it real. Block, strike, strike. Block, strike, strike. So those two gouges is pretty much going to end the fight. But in case that they don't, if they're wearing armor, you're going to have to work really fucking hard. So boom, clunk. Snatch the armor off. Now, thrust, switch, and go up. So basically what that does is, boom. You've already you've punched them. They went down. You've thrust it in, and you've come up. Or if you punch, or if you slice into the armor, you rip down, and then you thrust in. Spin the wrist, then stick this back through their ass by gouging back in and coming back up. These commas are not toys. These ones are wooden, but they're not toys. Even a wooden comma can do damage to a person if you happen to have to fight them. You're not going to do that. You're going to keep your commas the way they are designed to be, so that that doesn't happen. You're gonna keep them just like this. You can fling it this way, fling it this way when you're blocking. 
you don't necessarily want a block like this, but if you are in that situation, this block does work. I don't recommend it, but it does work. But you want to you want to try single blocks. Boom. That way you can have a cut. Boom. That way you can have a cut. Step back, cut, cut. Step back, cut, cut. And you can see that I'm blocking. Block, cut, cut. Block, cut, cut. Now, the thing on that is that's basically this shit. Boom. Boom. All right. That's basically what that is. You just have weapons in your hand. Now, if you're going to use tampas, which these are not, these are still commas, but I can use them as tampas, because tampas you have your grips and your shit. So your commas block, 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 pop out, block, pop out. Understand that? Let's try it again. Block, pop out from the inside. I don't like that. Block, pop out from the outside. I am an outside guy. All right? I'm an outside guy because it's easier. It's faster for me, might not be faster for you, but boom and boom works a lot better than boom and boom. And doing it this way, if you look at how close this thing comes up to my face, it's a good chance that with commas, excuse me, with tampas, you're gonna knock yourself the fuck out. You don't wanna strike and then come this way. Cause it's a good chance if your arm isn't fully extended, you're gonna catch ribs, or you're gonna catch your chin, and that's not gonna look pretty for anybody. Your dentist might be happy with you because you're going to spend thousands of dollars to get your teeth fixed. So, jab, boom. You know, jab, boom. I'm an outside guy. Jab, boom. That's the inside. Jab, boom. That's the inside. I don't like the inside. Not only is it not comfortable, but I just told you a thousand things that could go wrong. When you come in, if you're not fully extended, this is not fully extended. I'm trying to turn it, I'm going to hit my own ribs. Boom. So I can break my own rib on the way out. We don't want that. So if I'm fully extended, I want to go to the outside. Now I got caught in my shirt. That wasn't supposed to happen. But outside, spin out. Now block, spin out. Block, block, spin this way, that's fine. But if you're blocking and you're blocking and this is better for me. Understand? Let me show it again. Block. So we'll block, block, spin in to out. I prefer spinning out to in. Block, block. Spin that way. That way works better for me. Punch, spin. Punch, spin. Understand? Punch, spin. Punch, spin. I'm not comfortable with that, and it's a good way that you can fuck your shit up. All right? So, guys, coming. Boom. Kick. Spin it out. Maybe it looks better this way. Block. Kick. Spin out. Understand how that works? Boom. Boom. Right? And nine times out of ten, if you're using time for us, you thrust that thing out and you wrap it around, it's pretty much going to end the fight, depending on where you hit the person and how tough that person is. Boom. 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 Now here, I don't need to spin. If I spin, I'm going to hit my ribs. If I spin, the target's already eliminated, so there's no point for spending. So I'm going to reset here. Now if he gets up, boom. Got him that way. Got the other hand, got him that way. So you understand how commas and tampas work. I'm simulating tampas with these commas. Foom, 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 foom. I do not like that. Foom, foom is very dangerous. Foom, foom, not as dangerous to you. Understand? Here's the difference. Now, I'm gonna go back to commas. These are some don'ts. All right, if you're going to swing your commas, you're going to swing this way, you don't want to do this as you're doing this because you're going to gouge out your own leg. So that's a no. You want to swing commas, you don't want to do this while you're doing this because you're going to cut your own leg. So the whole purpose is you want to block. So you want to kick, keep your guards up, boom, see, guards up. Now you're throwing a front kick and you're going to spin and attack with commas. So, boom, boom. Now, the big no on that was, I was completely vulnerable after the kick. So when I threw the kick, boom, I stopped the spin, I'd have been kicked in the back, especially if I missed the kick. If I missed the kick and the guy goes, whew. so I've thrown this kick, he goes low, he sweeps my foot. There's a good chance that I can land on top of my commas 
but they can fly to my hand. He can catch them and use them on me, or he can just catch me and make me stand myself. There are a lot of things that can go wrong with weapons. Understand, when you bring a weapon to a fight, a weapon is a tactical advantage that can be taken from you at any time because you don't know who you're fighting. So nine times out of ten, you're going to get into a brawl. Leave your toys at home. Leave all your toys at home. Just going to wave to y'all really quickly. I'm going to attempt to wave to y'all really quickly. This will not let me wave to you. Very, very sorry. Son of a bitch. I hate fucking technology. It's been a be all of all my damn day today. Okay. So we're going to close up. With this chain. Alright. You know, the thing about fighting with the chain is that you know your range. From right there to right here. It's about maybe 10 feet. You don't need that much fucking chain, but if you got it, it's not going to hurt to know how to use it. But you're going to have to manage your chain easily. And so, if you get to the point where you're spinning both your chains, See how that works? So, you see the problem? The left chain is not functioning. So, I'm going to wrap it off. Alright, do not attempt. Now, the reason why I'm doing this and why I'm finishing it is because now I have an equal amount of chain to defend myself. And now I can propel the shit out of anybody coming at me. You know, long range. This way, this way. This chain is really not cooperating. So this is definitely not safe. But see, now I know my left hand needs more work. But I don't need any kicks for this, because if you guys can see it, Know where that thing's gonna go. You're gonna need to know where it's gonna go at all times. And now granted, this is a plastic chain. That doesn't make it any less dangerous in the right hands. Because it's still gonna hurt no matter who walks into the damn thing. So, learn your range. That little bit there, that's for short. If a guy's coming in short, boom. You know, boom, boom. You have it. But see how I had it wrapped? It's not wrapped properly. So that's why you see that it has no control. Now you want to do it this way so that your arm's not wrapped around. So if he comes in, boom, you have whipping control. And then that way it makes it easy for you to set him up for a kick. Boom. Understand? Now, you're going to roll that thing around. You guys remember helicopter? You know, understand how to stop that chain. If you don't understand how to stop that chain, you probably shouldn't use chains. And even if you understand how to stop the chain, shit can still go wrong. And you can get hurt. Really fucking bad. So you don't want that. Learn to roll with the weight of the chain so that you can tuck in and absorb it. This way you can stop and grab on the way back. Boom, boom. See, I still have whipping control and it's not wrapped around my wrist like before. So, let's see if I can do that again. Whip here. Boom, boom. And I still have control. Now, if I don't have control, that can happen. If I don't know how to stop it, this could happen. So, yeah, I protected my crotch. That could happen. I personally know how to stop it. All right. Now that is another way to stop it. I highly don't recommend it because of that. But you know, 
I'm going to just do this all day, then it's fine to have it wrapped. So when I was doing that, it was one wrap because this is it. I'm building the momentum. I'm going to switch my wrists and I'm going to let it go. But if it's wrapped, one more. Now, as long as I'm not going to do this, then that one rep's not going to matter. But if I'm going to do this, now you see I have no control and it's still locked around my wrist, which is going to put me in incredible danger. So we don't want that. But if I'm just doing this, boom, boom, I absorb those. <laughs> but boom, 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 boom. If the guy's coming at me, he's going to be in a lot of pain. But if I want to reevaluate the chain, I have to unwrap my wrist. But for all medicinal purposes, boom, boom, I have more control. Now from here, now I'm not gonna have to worry about that wrist. But from there, I have to worry about the damn chain plus the wrist. So you have to deal with that shit. So if I want to go here, switch directions, and then take control, and go under, I can't have my wrist wrapped with the chain. Now, if you notice, each way that I absorb this chain and I stop it, it is differently from where the chain goes. Because you have to know the trajectory of this chain is unpredictable. There is no guarantee of predictability of where this thing's gonna go. I can throw this bitch this way, and it can come back around because that's what I'm doing. But if I do it the wrong way, it's gonna be a problem. This video is now concluded. Thank you for watching. Because everybody just went to hell and my position has been given up.